Oscar Bevis for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. I'm here in London at the Champion Head Offices, joined by Mrs Chantel Cameron. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. You love a beanie hat, don't you? I've noticed this. I've noticed this from a couple of ways. You absolutely love a beanie hat. That's the ugliest photo bomb that we've ever had. Um, yeah, you do. You love a beanie hat, don't you? I love a beanie hat, especially in the winter. So when it, I do love summer, but when it comes to winter, when it comes to summer, I can't get the hats out. And I don't see a baseball cap, so uh, the beanies. Beanies all the way. You've also got a puffer jacket on as if you're <laughs> in the Arctic when we're actually inside in a fairly heated, op heated office. <laughs> Uh, as well as I wear this coat with my hat. <laughs> um, let's talk about champion. You're wearing champion. You want to be a champion. It sort of suits the whole boxer theme. Yeah, no, I just love champion clothing as well. I've always uh, liked it. And yeah, of course, I want to be a champion. I'm hoping I'll get my world title shot this year. So yeah, it sets, sets the theme. How important is it for women to get in boxing to get these brand deals as well? Because women's boxing is pushing so much more than men. Um, like I was speaking to Dan Aziz and I know Michael Condon as well, Josh Kelly as well with Champion. Um, but how important is it for women to get these brand deals because you do need pushing a lot more than male fighters? Um, massive, yeah. So first I just want to say uh, thanks to JXL for getting me this opportunity and obviously Champion for letting me uh, do the brand as well. It's massive because women's boxing's on the rise. So opportunities like this is just going to keep pushing and pushing. So it's amazing, yeah. I want to talk about the world title shot now. Yeah. Obviously, I'm a boxing man, but it's a boxing channel, so it's hard to just talk about that. So <laughs> let's get down to business. Yeah, the world <laughs> title deal, yeah, we've only talked about the hat and coat for so long. Um, yeah, we're sort of, you're waiting, we're sort of waiting on a date as well. Um, talk to us about that. Yeah, so at the moment, obviously, um, I won my mandatory for the lightweight division, so uh, that could be an option, but I'm mainly waiting for the super, le super lightweight shot because I won against Sanchez in November. Um, just literally that that's going ahead so I will be boxing at super lightweight for the world trial but just waiting for the date waiting for the contracts to be signed and all guns blazing then <coughs> how much involvement do you actually have in that because obviously you want to get paid you want to know what you're getting paid you want to know the details where it will be if it's going to be here or in the states or wherever but how much do you actually get involved or do you just sort of put that to the back of your mind let that get dealt with and just focus on training making weight etc that's not my job that side of it so all I focus on is make sure that I'm prepared and make sure I'm ready. So when I do get the date, I um, leave no stone unturned. I have no excuses. Last thing I want to do is uh, have the excuse of I, I weren't ready. So for me now, it's just getting ready, being prepared. What can you give us? So what can we expect is going to be in England, we're hoping? I don't know. <laughs> Literally, uh, I think it'll be in America, but I have heard it may be in the UK now. So... I, ha I literally have no idea, just hopefully I'll find out soon. I take you to one of these fighters who wants to hold American dream at some point. Everyone always says, I want to go to America at some point, but to do it for your first title shot, will that make it even more special? Um, I think, at the end of the day, Jessica, she's the world champion, she's American, so it's only fair that if she wants it in her backyard, I go to her backyard. But for me, I love boxing in the UK, so my family and friends can come watch me, because obviously, for my, my friends and stuff to book, flight to go to America it's going to cost a bomb so uh, I'd rather it in the UK but she's the champion at the end of the day I want them belts so I'm going to bring her back to the UK regardless so it doesn't matter where it is. The UK is getting that appeal now though like we've seen um, remember your last fight Carissa Shields was there and she even she was saying you know the UK's got such an appeal now that fighters won't mind coming to the UK. I think it's because UK British boxing is blasting it's going through the roof so I think uh People want to come to UK because the shows, the fans, the atmosphere. That's why I'd I'd rather be in the UK. Where in the UK? Where's the ideal sort of? What's, let's put the ideal world title shot forward. Where are we talking? That to be O2. I would say Northampton, but North Northampton's got nothing there. So <laughs> I'm not going to say Northampton. Uh, it'd be O2 because it's London. It's close for my family and friends to get to. I've got family in London. And everybody wants boxer though too as well, so O2 London would be my ideal place. I want to quickly go back to your 2019. How do you assess it? You were out four times. Yeah. Am I right in saying? Put myself on the spot there. <laughs> um, you're out four times. Was that a sort of 
active as you wanted to be at the start of the year when you looked at it, it was sort of four times the was that the amount of fights you were looking at it was perfect i was lucky to get four fights really because obviously i changed teams i went with i swapped to jamie and nige and he did two warm-up fights before i got my managers and obviously my first mandatory against bashil i won that and then i was expecting maybe another run out by the end of the year but i was really lucky that mtk got me the final eliminator super lightweight i think that was great management the way they got that for me so uh that was that was a bit of a shock as well i weren't expecting it so uh four times is ample it was, i think it was perfect timing and my opponents the so the first two fights were just get me back in the swing of things. I hadn't boxed for so long. <coughs> and with a new team. And then Bashil and Sanchez, I feel like there's a level up. I feel Sanchez was a bigger a bigger name for me to be and it was a uh, skill skill factor was a lot better than Bashil. So I feel like uh, the way I went up the levels was 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 was, was really good for me. I remember Bashir at the press conference coming over. She didn't speak a word of English, but I'm sure she was getting her translator to say things like she's going to knock your block off and all this. That was a bridge. <laughs> she, yeah, she said I was a bridge. And she was going to knock me out in front of Katie Taylor. But I was thinking, Katie Taylor's not even going to be there, you dumbass. <laughs> I was like, where's she got Katie Taylor's going to be ringside? But yeah, it was a bridge. She was going to knock me out and all this. It's garbage. I'm not even going to bring up Katie Taylor because I feel like. I've probably done about five interviews of you and <laughs> Katie Taylor's taken up 80% of the time. I'm sure you're absolutely sick of her. So I'm going to completely move on. I was prepared for you to bring up Katie today, to be fair. Oh, so you want to, do, no, you want to get the know. trash talking going with Katie? No, I'm <laughs> um, I want to talk about Terry Harper. <laughs> Sam with Matrim um, was on this journey with Steffi Ball and come sort of onto the, the mainstream, onto Sky, and won a world title. Oh. A good story. I was there when uh, I watched her fight as well. It was, she boxed brilliantly, like she boxed flawlessly. And her relationship with Steffi Ball, oh, it's a dream. Like the way they work together and the bond they have, it's, it's really nice to see, especially in boxing. It's a hard sport. So she's very lucky there. Is the UK now the leading place for women's boxing when you look at female fighters? Mm, don't know. Do the Yanks still edge it? Do they just still edge it? Clarissa, right? Clarissa, and then there's some. Uh, there's Mik Michaela Mayer, there's uh, Frances, there's, there is some good American female boxers, I think that's a tough one to say, and Clarissa is kind of, and you can't really say Katie in the UK because she's Irish, so I don't know, that's a tough question, i say we're on par, on par. That's the right answer. Um, I'm going to ask you about Wilder Fury now, I just asked Dan, I said to him, Everyone you ask is going to say the. They always say the exact same thing. Fury's going to box. Wilder's going to look for that one big punch. Can we get anything different from you? Can you give us a little bit of a different ana analysis, or is it as simple as Fury's going to try and box and Wilder's going to try and knock his head off? Are you going to make me just make up a random story? <laughs> I think the same to be fair. So I can't make nothing different. I think uh, I don't think Tyson's going to come out being aggressive, trying to knock his head off. I don't think that's his style. He's a boxer. He's smart. He's got a good boxing IQ. Wild Eye does what he does all the time. He's going to look for that big right hand. But I think uh, Tyson wins on points as long as he doesn't get knocked out because Wilder has got like devastating power. So. Do you think Tyson saying he's going to come out and knock him out in two rounds is just pure mind games? I, per I think it's mind games, yeah. I think you wouldn't do that against someone like Wilder. It's too dangerous. But then you never know. Like He does what he wants, doesn't he? So. <laughs> I would say oh, I wouldn't bet against it. Um, Chantel. Thank you very much for speaking to IFL TV. No, Anything else you'd like to add? No. <laughs> Normally when I say that to people, they're like, yeah, shout out to my trainer. Even like, shout out to my mum, shout out to... Ch I don't know, you can even do shout out to champion. Do you Anything else you'd like to add? No, so, nothing at all. <laughs> okay, shout out to Jamie, Nigel, MTK, all my sponsors, champion, <laughs> JXL. <laughs> shout out to all of them. Now you put it on me. No. Chantel, thank you very much for speaking to IFL TV and I'm sure we'll catch up with you soon. Gold Star Promotions is proud to present Floyd Money Mayweather. The man himself is coming to the UK for his UK tour, February and March 2020. For all info and tickets, goldstarpromotions.co.uk.